Detroit produced 12 full-size muscle cars that were swift and strong during the peak of the muscle car industry. These cars, surprisingly, boasted elegance in addition to overwhelming power. Although the majority of them were opulent cruisers or private luxury vehicles, they had powerful engines and sounded like real muscle cars. Watch this video through to the finish to find out why these automobiles are still so unique and in demand today. Number 1. The Mercury Marauder X100 Mercury was regarded as a luxury brand in the 1960s, with its vehicles ranking below the more expensive Lincolns and above the normal Fords. In 1969, Mercury introduced the new Marauder, their first foray into the muscle car market, while its primary focus remained on luxury cruisers and personal luxury vehicles such as the Cougar and Cyclone. This elegant coupe had a huge front end, a distinctively sloping back end, and a streamlined design with hidden headlamps. It was designed more for cruising than street racing despite its large size. The tuned-up model included a powerful 429 V8 engine that produced 360 horsepower, a heavy-duty suspension system, and fashionable amenities like bucket seats and a blackout rear trim. Mercury produced almost 8,000 of them throughout its two-year production period, even though it didn't become a bestseller. Number 2. Buick Wildcat one of the first personal luxury coupes with a performance-tuned engine and other athletic features, Buick made its debut in 1962 with the Wildcat. Even before the Riviera GS or the muscle car craze took off, Buick made sure the Wildcat had luxurious amenities and sophisticated equipment because it understood that there was a market for full-size coupes with sports car performance. The 430 V8 engine, which produced 360 horsepower and was available in 1967, was one of the powerful V8 engines that gave the owners of the Wildcat exceptional performance and exclusivity. Number 3. The Ford 7 Liter Ford's 1960s portfolio was dominated by Mustangs and Thunderbirds, but the Ford 7 Liter is a forgotten luxury muscle car. It's a short history and an intriguing car despite its obscurity. Ford's 428 cubic inch engine was introduced in the middle of the 1960s to compete with Chevrolet's Impala SS. Ford, on the other hand, used a different tack and positioned the 7 liter as an exclusive and elegant coupe or convertible. With its distinctive name and elegant design, the 7 liter, which used the full size Galaxy platform, epitomized European charm. With a 428 V8 engine producing a decent 345 horsepower, the 7 liter had an impressive performance under the hood. The 7 liter's remarkable array of features, which included air conditioning, standard bucket seats, heavy duty suspension, power everything, and a selection of unique colors, was what made it stand out. The 7 liter insignia on the sides made it simple to identify the model. But since production was limited to a single year, 1967 models are especially valuable. In 1967, the 428 engine returned, but it was limited to the Galaxy as an option. The 7 liter has experienced a rebirth in popularity after being neglected for a while, and it's now highly valued on the market for historic cars. Since only 11,700 of them were made in 1966, it can be difficult to locate one now. Number 4. The Chrysler 300 Hearst the Chrysler 300 letter cars are renowned for their powerful engines and opulent interior design. Made between 1955 and 65, every model year was identified by a letter, with 1965's letter being L. These vehicles cemented their reputation as era icons with their strong engines, custom interiors, leather seats, and limited manufacturing numbers. In their day, the Chrysler 300 letter cars were the pinnacle of Gran Turismo coupes. Many people thought that the era of genuine 300 series automobiles had ended when manufacturing stopped in 1965. 1965, but Chrysler shocked admirers in 1970 by creating the 300 Hearst, a unique limited edition. The Hearst firm had partnered with Chrysler to create a limited edition of 500 unique cars. Number 5. The Pontiac Catalina 2 and 2 the Pontiac GTO was the face of the emerging muscle car movement and took center stage in the mid-60s. Nevertheless, Pontiac also offered the Catalina 2 and 2, an excellent performance vehicle. The full-size Catalina model, which came in coupe and convertible forms and was performance-focused, was concealed beneath the unusual moniker. The 2 and 2 model of the Catalina evolved into a true Gran Turismo with an opulent interior and a potent engine, although the standard model was not so bad at sales. The renowned 421 V8 engine was standard on the Catalina 2 and 2, which was qualified for engines larger than 400 cubic inches by GM regulations. The car's power could be increased to 376 horsepower by choosing to install the tri-power intake system. The Catalina 2 and 2 was an expensive but well-equipped vehicle with optional extras, like heavy-duty steering, brakes, and limited slip differentials. In 1965, Pontiac built approximately 11,000 of these excellent vehicles, of which only about 200 were convertibles despite their high price tag. 
Number 6. The Plymouth Fury GT It may surprise you to learn that Plymouth, an economy brand for the Chrysler Corporation, produced a remarkable number of muscle vehicles in the 1960s and 70s, including several special versions. Plymouth first entered the luxury muscle car market with the GTX, but their largest model to date, the Fury GT, was unveiled in 1970. With its flawless combination of elegance and power, the Fury GT was essentially a two-door coupe version of the Fury sedan. The renowned 440 V8 engine, which had three carburetors and produced 375 horsepower, raged beneath the hood. For a true performance experience, buyers could choose between the four-speed manual transmission and the 727 Torque Flight Automatic. Number 7. The Buick Riviera Era GS. Detroit saw a developing trend in the early 1960s. American consumers were becoming more interested in European luxury Gran Turismo coupes, particularly among performance-driven consumers. In addition to power, these purchasers were looking for vehicles with handling and the thrilling sensation of a sports car. For the thrill and grandeur of performance cars, they therefore gravitated to names like Jaguar, Maserati, and Ferrari. In 1963, GM unveiled the Buick Riviera, a new luxury vehicle hoping to cash in on the trend. The Buick nailhead engine, modern interior, and sleek and beautiful style of the Riviera instantly made an impression on the American market. It was an immediate bestseller and a serious rival to the legendary Ford Thunderbird. But Buick didn't stop there. They set the standard even higher in 1965 when they unveiled the storied Riviera Grand Sport or GS. Along with many other performance enhancements, this variant included a larger 425 engine and redesigned suspension. Number 8. The Chrysler C300 Another vehicle that made a lasting impression on the automobile industry was the 1955 Chrysler C300, which was the fastest and most potent American production model, with a stunning 8.5 to 1 compression ratio and a race camshaft and dual four-barrel carburetors. Chrysler's 331 V8 Hemi engine, named after it, produced an astounding 300 horsepower, which was astounding for the mid-1950s. It was a formidable machine thanks to its exceptional performance, which included a top speed of 130 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour timing of only 9 seconds. Despite its high price tag and opulence, the C300 demonstrated its abilities on the racetrack by taking home an astounding 37 stock car victories. Number 9. The Pontiac Grand Prix 2 and 2 in 1986, Pontiac shocked American automobile consumers by introducing a fascinating 2 and 2 package for their well-liked luxury coupe. The firm hadn't had a muscle car like this since the late 1960s, and it gave an otherwise ordinary car a unique twist. The Grand Prix shared the same base, rear glass, and rear spoiler meant for NASCAR races as the Monte Carlo SS Aero Coupe of the 1980s. Number 10. Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Chevrolet, meanwhile, successfully brought back the SS trim level to their cars in 1983 and continued to do so until 1988. The Monte Carlo, despite its lackluster performance, was one of the sexiest two-door coupes available in the mid-1980s. A 305 V8 engine with 180 horsepower and sluggish automatic transmission were mounted beneath the hood. Over 180,000 stylish coupes were produced throughout the SS's five-year lifetime, despite its poor performance. Number 11. The Buick Roadmaster After a 33-year break, the venerable Roadmaster name returned to the Buick portfolio in 1991 with a redesigned opulent sedan and station wagon model. Although the vehicle was similar to other GM models in its class, the Roadmaster had more luxurious features. The addition of a Corvette LT1 5.7-liter V8 engine, which produced 260 horsepower in the Buick and is more than sufficient to transform this comfortable cruiser into a muscle car, was what set it apart. Head number 12. The Cadillac at Coupe de Ville. This 1949 Cadillac was a significant model for the business because it debuted large chrome fins, a novel design element that ignited a 1950s design revolution in the United States. With a 331 cubic inch displacement V8, the 1949 Cadillac was potent by today's standards, producing 160 horsepower. With a manual gearbox, the pillarless Coupe de Ville could reach 60 miles per hour in under 12 seconds, turning this elegant coupe into a powerful powerhouse. So so which car out of these grabbed your attention? Share with us in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more such content, subscribe to our channel right away.